Hi. So, in this question, we're going to model a torpedo being fired from a submarine. Since the torpedo is projected into the water, the only force acting is the one that opposes the motion, which in this case is 50 V. There's also a weight, every body has a weight, so 100 G. And there's also a reaction force against the weight, since the torpedo is only moving in the x direction. Now on to Newton's law. So sum of all the forces acting on your system in the x direction is equal to m times acceleration in the x direction. Now we always pick direction of motion as positive. This is moving this way. So therefore, this is positive. That's how we choose it. Now, sum of forces in x. Well, we only have one force and it's going left. So it's minus 50 V equals the mass, which is 100, multiplied by acceleration. Now, since we're trying to solve the mathematical model of the system, we need an expression that connects velocity with time. So we can get a graph in the end of velocity against time. So minus 50 V stays the same. However, we have to change the acceleration into dV over dt. Acceleration is the change in velocity with respect to time. Now, on to separating the variables. First of all, let's get the numbers on one side. So what we're going to do is, bearing in mind this is the differential equation, let's make a note of that, d e, differential equation. Now on to separating the variables. So multiple, divide both sides by 100. equals dv over dt. Then multiply both sides by dt. So we get minus 50 over 100 is minus a half v dt is equal to dv. Finally, divide both sides by v. And in the end, we get minus a half dt is equal to 1 over v dv. Integration sign on both sides, we have now separated the variable. Now we're ready to solve the equation. So let's integrate. First of all, the integration of a half or minus a half dt is simply minus a half t. equals. Now the integration of 1 over v is lin v. Lin v. The magnitude of lin v plus a. a is the integration constant. So what we have, have here is the general solution of the problem. I call it gs. The general solution of the problem. However, we need to find a particular solution. So to do this, we need some initial or boundary conditions. Well, the beginning of the question says that the torpedo is fired at a speed of 80 meters per second. So when time was zero, V was 80. That was the beginning when it was first fired. Substituting these numbers into our formula, so lin 80 plus a. Now, a is therefore negative lin 80. Keep it in terms of lin so we can use the laws of logarithms to simplify it. Coming back to our equation, let's substitute back into the formula. We have minus a half t equals lin 
v minus lin 80. The laws of logarithms state that log a minus log b is log a over b. So we can use that to simplify this side. It's going to be lin v over 80, like so, minus a half t. Then, by the laws of exponential function, we can see that e to the power minus half t is equal to v over 80. Therefore, the final expression for the velocity will equal v equals 80 e to the minus t over 2. That's an equation for the velocity of the torpedo with respect to time. So we're going to continue to solve this problem because in this particular problem they've asked for the displacement with time, the distance. He wants an expression for the distance travelled by the torpedo as a function of time. This is an expression for the velocity v equals function of time. We need s equals function of time. Now we know that s or displacement is the integration of velocity with respect to time. So by that definition s will equal to the integration of our velocity which is 80 e to the minus t over 2 with respect to time. Now how do we integrate an exponential function? Well all we do is take the coefficient of the variable in the power and make it 1 over that constant. So what it's going to be is s equal to 80 stays the same, 80 doesn't change, but we have 1 over the coefficient of the t. The coefficient of the t, the number next to the t is minus a half. So we have minus a half then e stays the same, e to the minus t over 2, plus c, constant of integration. Then what we say is, we say, okay, let's simplify this expression here. So s will equal to, the 2 will go to the top, the minus goes there as well, so minus 160, e to the minus t over 2, plus c. Now we need to find c. In order to find it, we need initial or boundary conditions again. So, the initial conditions in this system is that when time was zero, s has to be zero. Because the torpedo was fired at time zero, so it had, hadn't moved any distance. So, using that information, let's substitute the numbers in there. So, we have s is equal to... minus 160 e to the minus t over 2, so minus 0 over 2, plus c. Remember, anything to the power 0 is 1. So s is equal to minus 160 e to the power 0 over 2 is going to be 1. So c is equal to 160. Going back to our equation and substituting into that equation, we will get the following expression. S is equal to minus 160 e to the minus t over 2 plus 160. Therefore, in the end, we get S equals 160, open bracket, 1 minus e to the minus t over 2. And that's the final expression for the displacement of the torpedo with respect to time.